We are Lagos Talk 91.3. Let's talk. The support that we want to show this morning is to a former international, a man who really did play football at the very highest level, uh, club and formation as well. And right now, as I said earlier, putting his money where his mouth is. Uh, we, we celebrate international footballers all around the world, you know, when they're magnanimous. Um, when it happens here, we also have to do the same as well, uh, which is why Jonathan Akpobo joins us this morning, um, live on, on Sports Zone from where he's situated. I don't know where you are, Jonathan. Is it Delta State? Yeah? Yes, yes, okay. it is. Okay, good morning, Joe. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine, thank you. How are okay. you? I'm all right. Jonene! <laughs> John Nene, that's, 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 that's the that's the that's the voice of a dissident. <laughs> <laughs> John Nene, you know the answer your brother. John Nene, no, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't All right, Jonathan, let me quickly tell that story now. Remember what time we do on side for senior year? We walk by yeah. come meet. We come where we drink. Where the guy come meet me say, say what take my picture. Come give me the food. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Then when did you get off on the phone to take to the because he said the party the party then when 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 I now tell the guy ah that's your offer and people were like ah just a time like boom boom he ain't he can't give he don't give me the phone he ignores me we are stop us stop us talk about fading celebrity how about guy well done no I'm so proud of you John of them and now you now you know as you know that well done bro I mean Jesus now what's going on what are you up to now um, well, um, I am in Ozoro and, um, you know, um, we brought in these doctors to come and, to come and treat people here in, uh, in, uh, in Delta State. Um, <laughs> well, it started, it all started like a dream. I, you know, I'm actually getting prepared to go to the hospital now because most of the patients, after after treatment, they keep asking who brought them, who brought them, who brought them. So the doctors actually requested from today that uh, that I show up uh, very early morning and before before they close. Um, because when they are done with the surgeries, um, I, the, the patients, most of them, they, they request pictures to take. And, you know, they, they are full of prayers every time for the person who actually organized uh, Organized this is actually very touching because you hear different different stories every time you are around the hospital. So it's uh, it's uh, it's always emotional, <laughs> and that's uh, I think that's the essence of you know. But Joe, let's start the, let's start from the very beginning. Um, how did this idea come uh, come about? How did you get in touch with these? Um, surgeons, where did you meet them? You know, where, where, did, they take, where did they take to bring them down here to Nigeria? You know, all of the details. Well, um, I went, I went, um, I went to an event. I, I think that event, it was, a, it was. Uh, I escorted my friend to Belgium. Um, I remember we drove all the way from from Germany, and you know, we went to someone's uh, wedding. And uh, I was actually complaining to my friend that the wedding wasn't even worth it and all of those things. And um, getting there, we now met another friend and we started uh, just talking and talking and talking. And if we, I think a phone call came in and it was one of, one of these doctors that called him and we were just talking to him about some other issues. And, I, and he now said, oh, uh, it's a friend of his, and he introduced them, and I said, wow, this is something I would really, really want to do for Nigeria. And he said, okay, um, if you actually want to do this, uh, if you're serious about it, then we'll talk about it when when you guys get back to Germany. So I said, okay, no problem. So we went back. So when I went back, I called him again. Um, so I, was, I can't, you know, I can't believe Right now, I can't really believe I was actually following up on 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 that on that like that because I called him again and I said, "Please, I was begging him that look, um, don't let this slip by. I know these people; they would need these things, you know." I called him several times and uh, I think about a month later, they now agreed and they said, "Okay, they would want to, 
they would want to come and see they would like to come and see the area then they will now pick um first they will tell where uh, uh, the guys will stay and then uh, the hospital uh, so i now said okay no problem it took uh, basically i think a year and a half uh, then um, the doctor came the chief doctor came um, we went to Asaba, then we, we came to, to Isoku, um, went to Isoku South, Isoku North, and um, I tell you what, it was such a difficult process because every hospital you go into, the first thing was about money. What are we gaining? What are we going to gain as a hospital? And the man is like, guys, we are trying to help people. Okay. Then we would like to compromise that, okay, we would pay you maybe 50% of what the hospital might gain in that two weeks that we are we are doing, running this project. We'll pay you for like 50%, then let uh, the 50% be free for us. Um, the response was not really good. Then, you know, you know, I was getting frustrated and he now suggested that we go to the general hospital in Osoro. I told him on the way there, I was telling him, there is nothing there, there is no equipment. He kept insisting that we should go to Uzo. So I went with him. When we got there, uh, from the gate, you know, we saw a lot of people. Um, yeah, the, the doctors were definitely short. And um, they had, not, not, we won't say necessarily zero equipment. But you can actually say the equipment would not be enough for someone who who needs the, the basic operation or the basic surgery for something that he is suffering from. So immediately we got down from the car. The doctor just told me, said, Jonathan, these are the people you want to help. I already made up my mind and I said, oh yes, you're very, very correct. And from there, we went straight to Asaba, I contacted the commissioner. He was responsive. Uh, he, he did everything, everything. But you know, I will tell you, everything. Yeah. when we go to the when we go to the hospital, you know, it all comes together. The joy I see from everybody that's been treated, the people, everybody, the response is unbelievable. Okay, so these people are general surgeons and are able to treat um, any kind of ailment. Um, what I do know for sure is that you've had quite a number of people come out to Ozo to get treatment. Um, how many people have had surgeries so far and how many more are you, are you expecting? Um, Asat, Asat, uh, and this is, all, yeah. this, this, is all, this is all free of charge, right? Everything is free. Everything is free. Um, even uh, some of the people that come um, that, that have not gotten uh, the, a medical history, we help them. We pay for their test. They go outside. They do their test and they bring it. They read. They, they look at the test. They look at everything, and you know they now decide if they are going to uh, be uh, uh, if they need surgery or they don't need surgery. If it is just treatment, malaria, maybe an open wound. All those things put together, we do all of them. If you need a test, go we'll pay for the test. You know, we did we did all of those. So to put to put everything together, I think I have to I have to um, I have to um, get the actual numbers of yesterday. But I I believe we are over fifty now of those that that got surgeries from from these doctors. We are over fifty now. Jennifer. Yesterday. Um, um, yesterday, there was uh, there was this lady that got um, uh, that had um, uh, breast cancer. Uh, it wasn't um, it wasn't too late, and she was operated on yesterday. Wow! And yeah, it delayed it delayed um, a lot of surgeries, but you know they got it done. And uh, uh, yesterday, planned was about nine surgeries. I don't know if they completed it because the lady with the cancer actually. Uh, uh, the time uh, she took was was a very long time. Yeah. Jonathan, quick one, yeah. Um, how many doctors are we talking? About? How many doctors are on this team? And 
are, are they like are they doctors with various specialties are we talking about um you know medicine has different branches what's the what's the what's the main specialty or, or have, as i said do you have different do you represent different? Chairman, i can't i can't hear you very well it's, um, all right jennifer sorry about that what i was asking was the doctors uh, how many doctors are there on the on the team that's in zoro now yeah Uzoro. Uzoro, that's yeah, we have we have we have about about six doctors wow and they are all specialized uh they're all specialized in different in different oh, areas we have yes we have gynecologists uh, the only um, the only uh, um, area we did not bring doctors for, but because of the equipment, we were not sure we were going to get those equipment. Is uh, the optometrist and the uh, orthopedist? I see. Um, yes, but every other area we have somebody to deal to deal with that, and the surgeons too. I must say they are they've been fantastic. And they are all from Germany. No, they are all from Belgium. Oh, Belgium! Oh, Belgium! Oh, so yeah. it's in Belgium that wow. So, so it's like yeah. so. This is like um, a doctors without borders kind of thing, you know. Yes, exactly. But oh. the, their name is, is you know is an NGO is revived. Revive. Revive. Yes. Revive. How long are they going to be in Nigeria? Okay. Um, uh, John, hold on for our colleague Femi Farari. No, hold on. Hold on. Yes. Good morning. I was just going to ask, how long is this process going to be for? Um, you mean you mean the the, the project itself? Yes, the project the itself in Nigeria, in Ozo, yeah. Um, um, well, it, 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 it will run for two weeks. This week is the last week. Now we started uh, early, early last week. Um, <laughs> I can tell you so many challenges in getting in getting the doctors into 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 Delta. Mm. And, um, um, when we got them, finally got them in, uh, they started on last week, last week Monday. You know, so it has been it has been running all all the time. I I guess if if uh, we had done a lot of publicity, then uh, there would have been a lot of pressure on on the doctors because um, right now uh, they have uh, they have more than more than enough to deal with. Um, if if we had if we had gotten all the equipment we we requested for, it would have been more easier and they would have dealt with a lot more cases. But right Joe, now, Joe, how how have you been able to deal with the the notion or the idea or the suggestion, you know, that you're doing this for political reasons and that there's something that you're gaining that we're not aware of. You know, and, and what kind of difficulties have you faced from government officials? Because what I hear is that some government officials in Delta States have been asking you for some kind of kickback. <laughs> if they don't ask, it will not be between all of us. It would not be it would not be a normal Nigeria mm -hmm. because, like I said, you know, even scouting, you're scouting for somewhere to use for a charity event, and somebody is asking you, "What are we getting mm -hmm. for it? What are we getting from this?" You know. Yeah. Um, you have to you have to follow like your document. Um, uh, you you um, I actually went to the commissioner just to make um, to make a demand and say, okay, this is the project that we are trying to bring to Delta, and it was hundred and ten percent responsive. Everything he did, minuted everything we wanted. Everything was was written down, and immediately everybody left. It was on someone's desk. For a very long time you know i have to start sending people to go and check again where the document is hanging and all of those things um, it would be inappropriate for me to start seeing because you do have some some uh, some some honest uh, 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 ministry workers mm. that yes that are that are all there but you know the corruption is is unbelievable and you know you have to my goal, my goal from the beginning, regardless of what anybody is going to ask for, regardless of anybody trying to derail this project, my goal was that the people
people that are going to get this treatment, they get it at any cost. So are you doing this for any particular selfish reasons? Because that's what we hear. Is, is that... No. 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 <laughs> um, I, think, I think most of the obstacles we actually faced at, at the beginning of this, everybody was thinking, oh, maybe, you know, he's coming out politically. Mm. Even before they released some of the equipment to us, you know, that we eventually brought into the hospital, um, I was trying to explain to them that please, this is just for the people. I am just doing this, not for political reasons. I cannot, I repeat, I cannot go into politics because this was one of the warnings my mom, my mom gave to me. I will never go into politics. I don't do that. This is for me. Before I was doing this, somebody was telling me I have to register an NGO that I would benefit from 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 the company and all of that. And I told him, I said, guys. This is Jonathan Akoboye. This is not a company. I am doing this for the people. And by the way, it is not going to be just Isoko. It is not just going to be Delta. Next time they are coming, it might just be in Lagos or maybe anywhere that I feel would need it at that time. Uh, Jonathan, from inception to conception, from you are telling the wedding and you got this idea to how long did it take? for this idea to, to come to fruition? Well, um, you know, in, in Europe, it, it just depends on how you can afford. You can, it just depends on how you can afford it and, you know, now convince uh, the doctors over there. Uh, it took some time. Um, I think for them to say yes, they have to look at their schedule also because they do go all around Africa, you know, not just coming to Nigeria now. Mm. And then, um, I would say between five, six months, they were already sure they were going to come, but they needed to come and now inspect um, where, you know, where they are, the doctors are going to stay, the hospital, the equipment, they will check everything. But I tell, I tell you what, the most amazing thing, Charles, is that when they came, um, I was actually already booked a fantastic hotel in Uzo for them and the doctor came and saw it and he said oh Johnny this is really nice but uh, this is not what I want for my doctors uh, this is too expensive we have to go to somewhere reasonable to have a very good bed good water electricity maybe uh, 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 a conditioner if it, if it is not is not necessary but if it's there it's okay those ones are okay for them. I mm. mean, they have good food. That's mm. it. Mm. And that's exactly what he picked out from all the hotels, all the luxury hotels we looked for. He picked the most reasonable one, and that's where we are today. Yeah. All of that and a bit of hospitality as well. Uh, we do have to go, um, Jonathan. Thank you for talking to us. Yeah. I wish you the Thank very you best. Like I said, a story like this definitely has to be told. If we're celebrating others, we must celebrate our own, you know, and show all the kind of the of the which, which fantastic hotel do so. Which fantastic. You've not been there. It was a lovely place. Yeah. Lovely yeah. place. I see. I see. It's all right, Joe. Thank you for talking to us. Do have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank all right, Johnny. Well done. We'll be here later, Thank you. We are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk.